Now, as some of you know, uh, our friend and fellow YouTuber Tomskar has been personally affected by cancer. He sent us this video to tell us about his best friend. Hey you, so my friend Ed was... He was a bit mad. He loved making cartoons and that was all he ever wanted to do. And he was so addicted to his hobby, to his work, that he would make these incredibly terrible business decisions just so he could make more cartoons. And in this world of incredibly strategized and calculated internet stardom, I think that really set him out from the rest. You know, like he'd finished one project at 1am, uploaded at 2am, and while it's uploading, he's already started work on the next thing, not even knowing what it's going to be about yet. So the projects would be called things like Hammer Time and Future Butts, and that was just how much he loved doing what he did. I first met Ed around 2002 when we were both members of a website called Stick Suicide, which is a community that would later become Cyanide and Happiness. And those guys are actually really cool. They dedicated the first episode of their show to Ed, and that got me right in, right in the feels. Right in the boob. I really, really wanted to be Ed's friend because he was doing exactly what I wanted to be doing. Uh, he was making these terrible Stickman animations but to my 12 year old self, it was just like, wow, you are amazing. Please let me be your friend, please. So a couple of years later when Ed started doing his show called Ed's World, it was just Ed, me, his friend Todd, and shortly after his best friend Matt. And they were just beautifully animated and got tens of views, but it was incredible to be a part of something. And it was fun and nice. Ed was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in 2006 and having been raised in a religious environment and having a big imagination, I genuinely got it into my head that it was my fault. So I prayed and prayed and prayed and made a little pact with God that if I were to remain abstinent, like fully abstinent, not even nothing, that Ed would live. And after a two year long battle, he did actually pull through. So, um, you know, I guess that was all down to me, really. It was all me, not the doctors, not, not, not cancer research, just no one, just me. Oh boy. With his cancer and remission, we kept working on the show from different ends of the country, both of us at uni. And it just kind of grew and grew. Both of our channels were kind of racing each other, but I was always a couple dozen thousand subscribers behind him. But, you know, he had my help, so I was fighting myself. It's fine. Right before we both finished university, Ed's cancer came back and he got stuck in hospital again. And he always just kind of treated it like this big inconvenience, something that was keeping him from doing what he loved, which was making cartoons. So I treated it the same way. You know, everyone else was so quick to pile on the sympathy, but our relationship was more built on witty banter, um, not taking the situation too seriously. So I'd walk in and be like, get out of bed, you're just so lazy. And, you know, makes me feel like a kind of a bad friend uh, in the long run, but ultimately it made sense at the time, in context. I moved down to London after university and rented us a two bedroom apartment so that when his cancer went into remission again, we could finally move in together and get some real work done. You know, uh, I was gonna write a new show and he was gonna animate it and there were plans. So when the cancer got worse and the doctors started running out of ideas, it was tough. We were both pretty scared, but neither of us wanted to let on. Um, instead, we joked, you know, we, we joked about what would happen if Ed died, uh, the episodes I would have to make in his place, how if he ever got one week to live, I would come in with my microphone and we would record loads of random lines of dialogue and just make episodes around those and, you know, there were plans. When my phone rang that Sunday morning and I was so hungover, the shock alone sobered me up so fast. We had no idea that it would just, that it could just end so abruptly. And you don't really know what it's like, what you're like when you lose someone until it happens. And honestly, we just kind of spent the whole day huddled together making really bad, inappropriate jokes because we just had to cheer each other up and it was a weird day. The support from the Edsworth fandom was incredible. Without any provocation, people started uploading videos to YouTube about what Ed meant to them. And it was just, it was just amazing. My girlfriend at the time helped me edit together this video of all of these eulogies so that we could play it at Ed's funeral because I really wanted everyone there to see just what Ed meant to the world because it was a lot and it's honestly just been a little darker since he left. I think it's so important that we take every opportunity we can to stand up to cancer because, you know, just since Ed died, there has been 
advancements in research and treatment that could well have saved his life. So when people say that there is no point or that it is a losing battle, I want them to know that they're wrong, that, that it's not, that we are pushing back and one day we will beat this. You can donate five pounds by texting STAND5 to 70404 or if you're outside of the UK, you could visit standuptocancer.org.uk forward slash donate now and maybe give some money. I, I can't force you to do anything though because I am just in a screen, so. Ugh. It's fine. <laughs> Your donation will go towards funding life-saving treatments that could help us beat cancer sooner. Let's stand up to cancer together. Thank you and Tom Scott out. To give five pounds, text STAND5 to 70404. Or donate online at standuptocancer.org.uk forward slash YouTube. Please ask the bill payer's permission. 100% of your donation goes directly to research. So yeah, it's really important for you guys to donate as much as you can. Um, hello again, and if you've just started watching, then I apologise, you've missed some of the hottest quiz on the internet. <laughs> Teams in round three, you'll be given a fact about a statistic about a panellist on the opposing team. As a team, you must decide whether it's true or false. The panellist who the fact is referencing must keep a poker face throughout, okay? So, do we understand the game? Yeah, yeah. straight yeah. face. Cool. Surely okay. the answer is always the person with the poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, <laughs> you have been sassy today. <laughs> I'm sorry, Minus I'll, one I'll point. Down to sass. <laughs> Two notches. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Dean's team, you start first. Uh, okay, so Jamie once pranked his mum by convincing her he was going to become a father after a one night stand. Is this mm. true or false? You want to tell me? He's mad. Look at him. He's mad. What? Because he's wearing a because he's wearing a red hat. <laughs> You're we not bonded. mad. You look perfectly Don't sound and lovely. Yeah. Thank you. That's so, so kind. No worries. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna tear you apart in this round. <laughs> yeah. um, what are you I thinking, think it's guys? True. I think it's true, and I think if that's his poker face, I'd love to play that poker. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, right, the answer is okay. actually true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done, uh, Jamie, you pranked your mum on your YouTube channel. How did I that know. go? I think it was good. She took it. She took it really badly. <laughs> yeah. And I was trying to direct her in like a good way. I was like, oh, you know, it's yeah. good. She was you, like, no, she took it really bad. You have to say, it's just a prank, bro. And, yeah. Yeah, and that kind of. <laughs> it's just a prank, dude. Yeah. And then you can't get, you can get away with yeah. anything like that. Yeah. Jack's team. Uh, OK, so Hazel once sang with Peter Andre in a Toyota Yaris. Nah, that didn't happen. True or false? That's, that's utter... Oh, Jack knows <laughs> Hazel too well. <laughs> no. Do you know that happened? No. Because she, she, she looks all like... Like she wishes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the correct answer is false. Um, she did make sweet music in a Toyota Yaris, but it was not with Peter Andre. Who was it with, Chris? I don't know. It was Chesney Hawks. Oh, that's awesome! I know. That's what are you going to say ever? ever? I don't know who that is. I thought you it was going to be all Toyota, Toyota, and, Toyota and Chesney Hawks. Yeah, we sang. It ain't me, babe. Together, <laughs> I harmonised. That's, that's an upgrade on Peter Andre, if anything. Yeah, <laughs> let me upgrade you, upgrade you. Okay, so Dean's team. Um, Jack's Jack's star sign is Aquarius. Is it true or false? Come on, Dean. You should know. You should know, this, Dean. Uh, Eleven. Oh, on, is that the best thing you've got for Jack? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What my star sign is? Yeah, Jack's very private on the say, internet. You say <laughs> yes. It's true. Uh, you know and apparently, people like with that star sign are very attractive <laughs> and popular. So, yeah, you're an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's um. It's a big part of me. Yeah. Um, it's tough, isn't I it? I check it every day to see what it means about me. Is that the one with the boat? No, it's not the Maybe. Okay, so Jack's team. Um, Dean recently saw the film The Martian and thought it was hilarious, exciting, scary, and even a little point in it points. Is this true or false? Yeah, it's probably true. Yeah. That sounds like Dean. Yeah. I, I saw it with him, uh, so that, those sound like words he said. <laughs> yeah. You say that to you during it. <laughs> Not during, I would have told him to shut up. <laughs> shut up and watching this funny, scary, and poignant movie. <laughs> okay, so you're going with true? I'm going with true. Oh, it's false. Oh, uh, what did he say? According to Dean's Twitter, he thought it was funny, thrilling, tense, and even a little emotional. Oh, come on. Oh. Those are so it's synonyms for other words. <laughs> this is my quiz, okay? I make the rules. Minus you can have one this microphone. Point. I don't want to talk to Chris. Uh, Dean's team. Okay. Uh, once when hitchhiking, Sophie and her friends got into a van with blacked out windows and the driver was called Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that poker face. I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jesus will yeah, save right. you. Definitely. Is that how he <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Save us all. <laughs> OK. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh. It was pronounced <laughs> Jesus. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, look, ooh, the scores. Oh, it's a tie. Both sides have three That's points. Right. So it's getting pretty, pretty tense. You can donate £10, £5 or £3 now by simply texting STAND10, STAND5 or STAND3 to 70404. Or donate online at standuptocancer.org.uk forward slash YouTube. Please ask the bill payers' permission. 100% of your donation goes directly to research.